Hey everybody, and Tony here with a review of Bizet's Carmen at the Deutsche Oper Berlin with Nicholas Carter on the podium and starring Agunda Koleva in the title role, Gaston Rivero as Don Jose, Derek Welton as Escamillo, and Nora Amzelem as Micaela. This was also the same production I saw two years ago, with Zuren Schumacher on the director's chair and the set design and costumes being made by Pierluigi Samaritani. I was looking forward to this production mainly because of the four principal singers. One singer who I've never heard of before in the form of Agunda Kuleyeva. One singer who I've mostly heard on YouTube but have yet to see him live and see how his voice held up in the form of Gaston Rivero. One singer whose career has been building up throughout the past years in the form of Derek Walton. And one singer who I've been following her career very religiously in the form of Nora Amzelem. So let's start off with what I thought about Agunda Kuleyeva's Carmen. What I seem to notice from reading her biography is that she basically started off singing a lot of the lyrical mezzo roles in the forms of Siebel from Faust and Olga from Eugen Onegin. Throughout time, she's been building up to sing a lot more of the dramatic stuff like Konchakovna from Prince Igor and of course, Carmen, just to name a few. Her timbre is very typical of that of a lot of the Slavic singers, what with having that dark timbre, with that imposing stage presence, and of course, that incisive and powerful voice, mostly tailor-made in the chest register. And I thought she did a very fabulous job singing this role. And she left a very strong first impression on me. First of all, her timbre is very homogenous. It has that typical dark Slavic timbre as to be expected from singers of Slavic origin. And her stage presence is just so excellent. She didn't go too over the top, nor was she wooden. She kept everything right under her belt and right under everything that she did and she did this role justice using such a great amount of finesse, a great amount of an overall strength that she has on stage and her chemistry with all of her co-stars was just so well done. So overall, I really felt that seeing her live was a very great and strong first impression and I can't wait to see a lot more of her in the near future. Her Don Jose was Gaston Rivero. As I said before, I've seen this gentleman on YouTube a couple of times. I first heard him singing Mandrico Stretta di Quella Pira, and I thought he left a pretty strong impression on me. The big question is, how does his voice manage to hold up live on stage? The answer? Really well. And that's all thanks to that Italianate timbre that he has, very reminiscent of the likes of Franco Corelli and Placido Domingo. He has a very strong timbre and his vocal resources are just so well done. He manages to go through each of them and brings them out with such finesse and such a clarity and such a beauty that is so reminiscent of a lot of the great tenors of the past. His acting was kind of lukewarm in the beginning, but he got a lot better in the later acts, being a lot more passionate and being a lot more involved in the drama. However, the one very facet that was so consistent and so constant of Mr. Rivero was his vocal resources. Everything he did with his voice, whether he sang lightly, medium, or whether he sang with all his heart and guts out, he did very, very well. Then we have Derek Walton as Escamillo. Throughout the years, he has specialized in some great deals of character roles, but has slowly built himself up singing a lot of the dramatic baritone and bass baritone repertoire. And I thought that with Derek Welton's very handsome appearance and his equally fine and homogenous voice, he was able to make the best out of Escamillo. First of all, I really love how he looks on stage. He's a very handsome man with a lot of great vocal resources 
and a very fine burnished tambra, which he's very well known for. Not to mention, he has a lot of great moments on stage, with his best one being asked to be expected, the Toreador song. I would really love to see this gentleman star in a lot more leading roles because he not only has the build and the overall stage presence to make a strong impression on leading roles, but he also has the very homogenous and very dramatic voice to really aid him, push him to sing all of these wonderful roles. Then we have Nora Amzelem as Micaela. Over the years, this soprano has specialized in a huge breadth of repertoire. Whether it's the luscious lyric coloratura soprano singing of the bel canto repertoire, to some of the more lyrical singing of the verismo and modern repertoire. Her repertoire includes the likes of Elvira from I Puritani, the four heroines, and even that of Antonia from Tales of Hoffman, and of course, Micaela, just to name a few. She has been singing this role for many, many years, and she's kept this close to her repertoire for a very long time. The greatest things about Nora Amzelem is her musicality, her theatricality, and her close, specific attention to detail on the text and the drama. She has played Micaela very, very well, and I could really tell that this was a part she specialized in for many years and has become a landmark in terms of the overall repertoire she specializes in. However, what I seem to notice about Miss Amzalem, which can also be said about a lot of the material I've even seen her do on YouTube, is that at times her tone is rather stringent, but I guess it does come from the fact that she has specialized in a very tough repertoire. Whether it be the coloratura singing, and the full lyric singing, the light lyric singing, bel canto, Verdi, Puccini, Verismo, modern operas, you could really tell that singing a huge amount of repertoire and almost in those different styles can at times take a toll on your voice. But I have to give her credit for everything she did. She was able to make Micaela come to life on stage thanks to her musicianship and her theatricality. Despite the stringent tone she tends to have, I really have to give my hat off to her because of everything she did. She has kept this role in her repertoire for many, many years, and it shows how much of an experienced singer Madame Amzalem really is. So with that said, I really enjoyed seeing these four principal singers embody these characters. And how about the supporting singers? Let's start off with Marco Memitsa as Tsuniga, who has a very fine voice and still manages to maintain that homogenous timbre, fine basso cantante singing, and manages to really have a strong and focused stage presence. Simon Pauli as Morales is an elegant gentleman with a fine voice and an equally fine stage presence and makes the best out of this extremely thankless character baritone role. And we have the likes of Alexandra Hutton and Rebecca Jo Loeb who have sung Fresquita and Mercedes with such charm, scintillating timbre, and it's also helped with their silvery and gorgeous voices. Not to mention the two great character tenors, Jörg Schörner and Gideon Poppe, really bringing life to Dancail and Remandado, and making them not only comical characters, but also extremely likable characters who are also involved in the drama. So overall, I'm not going to mince words here. The singing, as to be expected from the standards of the Deutsche Oper Berlin, is excellent. Special kudos really has to go to the four principal players, Aguna Kuleeva, Gaston Rivero, 
Derek Welton and Nora Amzalem. And the conducting done by Maestro Nicholas Carter was well done and very nuanced. His mastery of the overture really got me hooked into the opera and it really got me excited and pumped. In fact, every moment in this opera, he handles it with such finesse and such mastery, I was hooked from beginning to end. So overall, what a great evening for opera it was, especially to see all the singers really give their all and to even see the conductor really give his all as well. Everyone was a pro, everyone did magnificently, and I have to give a huge kudos to every single person involved in this production of Carmen. Well, that's all for now. Be sure to tune in tomorrow where I review Tchaikovsky's ballet, Sleeping Beauty, also at the Deutsche Oper Berlin. So until then, good night everybody.